Hey guys, this is Sam, and in today's video, we are discussing just about all of the new changes found in iOS 8 Beta 3, which Apple released to developers just about two hours ago at the time of recording this video. So jumping right into some of these new changes, the first thing you may notice is actually two new options on these startup screens. You know, as soon as you install an iOS update, usually, not always, but usually, you have to go through a couple of settings screens just to get into your device in iOS 8. Beta 3 is no different. You've got a new option to enable iCloud Drive. Either upgrade to iCloud Drive or keep using iCloud documents and data. For this video, I just upgraded to iCloud Drive. And also you have a new second option on I think either the screen following that or maybe two following the original iCloud Drive screen, you have the option to share app analytics with app developers. Basically, this is going to help app developers improve their apps. So I would definitely recommend when iOS 8 comes out in the fall to share data with app developers because that's only going to make the apps that you use every day even better than they were before. So now that we have covered the iOS 8 launch or login screens, whatever you wanna call them, we've actually got some cool new settings in this latest iOS 8 beta. So first off, we have a new wallpaper, which is really cool. But in my opinion, I'm not going to be using this wallpaper as you see on screen right now. Apple just seems to love these dotted gradient white, black, green, blue, whatever color iOS wallpapers that I am just not the biggest fan of. I love the iOS 8 wallpaper. It's like an ocean with waves on the top. I think that looks absolutely awesome. I also love the iOS 7 default space wallpaper, but these dotted gradient wallpapers just aren't doing it for me. But as you can see, the one on the bottom middle is a new wallpaper, so I just wanted to let you guys know about that. But jumping into some other settings in the settings app, we have the option to disable the quick type keyboard under settings general. And I believe keyboards, there's a kill switch down below where you can either enable quick type keyboard if you're a fan of it like myself, or if you don't like it and you think it takes up too much space on your screen, you are more than welcome to disable it in iOS 8 beta 3. And also under messages settings, you've got a new option to automatically keep audio and video messages. So that's kind of cool instead of them being deleted after a certain amount of time or without you having to save them to your device, you can automatically keep them, which is pretty cool all in itself. And finally, there is the option to enable or disable the handoff feature. But moving into some of the UI changes found in iOS 8 Beta 3, in Notification Center, we've got a new rounded clear button as soon as you tap the X to delete a notification. You've got that cool, really nice looking clear button along with a nice, cool looking new animation. And also a new little grabber whenever you swipe down to hide the quick type keyboard. So I'll show you what I mean by the quick type grabber right now. If you're say typing a note in the notes application, you can simply swipe down on the little quick type suggestions to hide them for just a moment if you don't like them and they're not what you wanna see or you just wanna get rid of them for a second. And now when you swipe down, you get a nice looking new little grabber. Just swipe that back up to re-enable the quick type keyboard and that's just a little change found in this update. And taking a look at some of the final changes found in iOS 8 beta 3, we've got some new UI changed into one big box instead of a couple smaller ones at the bottom of the weather app. If you didn't already know in iOS 8, just feel free to swipe down on any weather card and you can see more useful information like sunrise, sunset, chance of rain, all that good stuff right down below at the bottom. And like I said before, that was in smaller boxes. Now it's just in one large one. And that is just about all there is to say about iOS 8 Beta 3, guys. So if you enjoyed watching this video, you are more than welcome to click the like button down below. And if you're interested in seeing more content related to future iOS 8 betas, coverage, videos, and all that good stuff relating to Apple's newest iOS, make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of those videos because I talk all about iOS here on my channel. And if new changes are discovered, make sure to check out the blog post down below in the description. Also, I always have those down there in case new changes are discovered. I'll post them there instead of making an entirely new video. So check out that blog post throughout the day in case a new change or two are discovered. So once again, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I really hope you learned something new and I'll see all of you in my next video.